What's up, beautiful family? Hope everyone is having a great Monday morning slash afternoon. Um, I am sitting in the um, the bank line and it takes a little bit. So I just wanna come on here and chat with you guys for a minute. Um, I don't really have like anything, you know, super, <laughs> super crazy exciting, you know, to share or to talk about today, but I just wanna come on here. I do wanna say, so the giveaway that I announced yesterday, um, a very sweet sister in Christ um, reached out. She wanted to stay anonymous, um, but she reached out and she wants to add a $50 um, prepaid gift card um, to this giveaway. And I just thought that that was very um, kind of her. Um, and I just thought that was just a beautiful gesture. So. I said, absolutely, of course. Um, so I am going to go get that loaded um, sometime today or tomorrow on uh, just like a prepaid Visa card, you know, to where you could just use it wherever you want. And that will be added to the prize that we are giving away for, um, for this giveaway. So if you guys, for some reason, did not click on yesterday's video, you definitely want to go click it and watch it. Um, my friend Joelle and I are giving away a brand new Nespresso machine. Uh, the brand is called Delon, just an amazing um, brand as far as espresso machines go. And it comes with the milk frother. It comes with um, 62 free um, pods with the, with the machine. And you can probably find this machine on Amazon, but the machine that we're giving away. Um, I believe on Amazon it only comes, it doesn't come with 62 pods, I can tell you that. The place that I found it was just, you can't find this deal anywhere. Um, so it comes with the milk frother, comes with the 62 pods for the machine, and it also comes with a travel cup, a really nice um, metal uh, travel cup. I am also throwing in some really cute Christmas travel uh, cups, and our beautiful sister, is throwing in a $50 um, prepaid card, which you can use for anything. So this is a really awesome giveaway. I left all of the <clears throat> all of the requirements in the description box as well as in the comment section. So um, it's super simple. You just have to make sure that you're following this uh, YouTube channel. You have to make sure that you're following my backup channel as well. And all these are linked. You have to make sure that you're subscribed or uh, yeah, subscribe to Joelle's um, YouTube channel and both of our Instagrams. Very, very easy uh, to win this. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that in there because I thought that was really awesome of her. Um, I also wanted to mention that uh, I got tickets to go to um, an event coming up in December. And I wanna say it's December, oh shoot y'all. Now that I'm talking about it, um, now that I'm talking about it, I can't remember. It's December 19th or 20th and it fall, it falls on a Saturday. Um, but in Orlando, cause I live here in Florida and in Orlando, there is a conference being held at the Orlando fairgrounds. And I was really, I didn't know whether or not to go to this event. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, I went to go mention this uh, two weeks ago <laughs> before I got banned, but I meant to mention this. Um, so I am attending an event. I'm not a part of it, but I am attending it. There's an event and there's going to be a lot of guest speakers there. And two of them that are very well known is Todd White and Benny Hinn. Um, there's also a lot of other um, guest speakers that are going to be there as well as some worship teams. And I thought about whether I wanted to go or not because I've never, I don't go to a whole lot of events like this, but something was tugging at me to go. And so I ended up buying two tickets for my husband and I. And so we are gonna be going and I wanted to mention that I'm going because if anybody lives in Florida and you guys already are going to this, like you knew about this and you're gonna go, I just wanted to mention it because it would be really cool to run into a lot of you guys. So, um, but I was, 
um, skeptical at first. And the reason why is because like those of you who have been with me for a while, you guys know that before the, lo the Lord had showed me full clarity on the gospel, um, I followed Todd White. I watched, I binge watched his videos and um, I just wasn't picking up on the error that he was preaching and um, long story short, you guys, a lot of you guys know, but if you don't know, I'm just giving you like a brief rundown. <laughs> When the Lord just like completely took that thin veil that was there off of my eyes, I picked up automatically on the on the on the works based doctrine that Todd was teaching, and I basically had to um, make a video explaining why I didn't support him anywhere uh, anymore. Now, um, and that's why I was kind of leery of going to this. Now, I know a lot of people have. Um, mixed opinions on Benny Hinn. Um, and, you know, I haven't listened to Benny Hinn's messages in a long time. So honestly, I don't know what he's preaching. <clears throat> but there's going to be a lot of other um, speakers there. And, but the reason why I was kind of leery about it is because I don't want to go to an event where another Jesus is, bring, is being preached. And I don't want to listen I have a hard enough time now knowing the truth, listening to false messages. That's why I can't listen to like modern day Pharisees anymore. I can't listen to legalistic messages. I can't listen to these people because it puts me so in my flesh. I get so mad. Like I really do. And it's, it's very like, I'm so thankful that the Lord gave me the truth and I'm able to see it with like, I can see it. <laughs> you guys know. Um, and that's a blessing because the worst thing that you want to be in is deception. <laughs> like that is not a place that you want to be. And so it's a blessing to know that I'm in the truth, but, uh, um, something that comes along with it, like the frustration is, you know, listening to those false messages, um, and just getting so in your flesh and irritated. And that's why I always have to ask myself for, for patience with the Lord or not with the Lord, but I have to ask the Lord for patience with other people because I understand that not everybody is in truth right now. You know, there's a lot of different situations out there. There's a lot of people that are, may not be saved or there may be people that are saved and they fell into legalism. Like that's the falling away that the Lord talks about, like falling away from grace. You start out in the spirit and you, you end up in the flesh trying to justify your salvation, right? So, and then some people come out of that legalism and the Lord is working in their life and it may not happen when it happens for you. So, and I'm just, you know, I was really leery, um, but I feel like the Lord is calling me there for a reason and I don't know what that reason is, but, um, I have full confidence that the Lord uses all things for the good and we know that. And we also know that in the Bible, in the Bible, um, there's a scripture that talks about, um, Sorry, y'all like hang with me because I'm going to try to multitask. <laughs> um, there's scripture in the Bible that talks about how, um, how, I think it was Paul that was speaking. Hold on, guys. I think it was Paul that was speaking and he was like, you know, even though like if somebody's not preaching the truth when they're speaking about Jesus, like if they're preaching like a workspace doctrine or whatever, he said, at least Jesus is being preached. And I get that and I understand that. And so I'm just hoping that, um, that when I go to this, that God's going to just use like all things for the good and the Holy Spirit is just going to move on people. And if there is a, um, if there is a workspace doctrine that's going to be preached, I'm I'm going to pray against it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just hoping that, you know, that I'm, I'm just going into it with an open heart and an open mind. And all right, guys, hold on just a second. I'm just going to write this in real quick. I need to, what am I doing? All right. Sorry, guys. I didn't want to like pause this video, but I needed to get this done. All right. Yeah, so 
I'm going into it with a open heart and an open mind and I just hope that you know there's other really good guest speakers there and I'm hoping that maybe Todd White has changed um, some of the things that he's preaching and I don't even know what Benny Hinn is preaching nowadays but I'm excited to see the other guest speakers and um, I just heard that some really good like worship groups are gonna that are gonna be there so um, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description box as well as uh, the comment section if you guys want to click on it and you live in Florida and maybe this is something that, that you want to attend um, then by all means I think the tickets are like 30 bucks a piece so it's really not bad um, but yeah I just wanted to like come on here and chat with you guys today and just say hey and I'm just happy to be back and have a lot of exciting things in store um, this upcoming month um, December I'm really just like I told you guys like in the giveaway mood and I just really want to give back to you guys and so I had um, multiple giveaways coming up um, as soon as this one ends with the espresso machine um, I'm going to be doing another one with a, a wonderful sister in Christ she has a YouTube channel um, a pretty large YouTube channel and um, we just have you know something exciting coming up as well as Chrissy and I we have something amazing coming up um, with her and I plan to get that out this week and um, yeah so I'm just trying to um, stay positive and um, you know the biggest thing right now guys is just like with everything going on in the world and um, just like the way the world is and the stresses of life sorry I have to get my <laughs> the lady didn't even like come on the screen this time and say hey or anything like that which normally they do, but maybe they're just like super busy in there right now. But yeah, like the way that the world is guys, um, and just like the stresses of everyday life, um, right now we just need to lean on Jesus. And um, because I, I have struggled with anxiety my whole life. I've struggled um, as a teenager. Um, and I remember I used to, I used to live very close to a convenience store and so I'd have to walk up this road and the bus stop would be like right next to this convenience store and as a kid or like you know as a teenager I would go in there to um, the store and get like one of those little frappuccino um, drinks that come out of this machine and I would drink them or whatever, but I started to realize that every time I would drink them, I would get um, very anxious. And there's um, like times where I would drink it, like drink coffee, and it would give me panic attacks. Um, Excedrin would give me panic attacks. And so I went through a lot of my life, and I'm, so, I'm sorry, y'all. I just, I haven't been on here lately to like talk to y'all, and it just feels good to like be on here and talk to you guys, so I hope y'all don't mind listening. Um, but I would go through like these times where, um, I would just have panic attacks and this, it was all new to me. And so I didn't really know how to handle it. Um, and long story short, you know, I realized, you know, I wasn't dying <laughs> and I managed to get them under control. And it's actually been years since I have had a panic attack because I'm able to identify it now and I'm able to understand and it's been it's been it's been the Lord helping me but it's also been me recognizing that but I've always suffered from anxiety and I've went through seasons in my life where it wasn't so bad and I've went through seasons where it was just terrible and I've had heart palpitations from it I had shingles from it not too terribly long ago and so um, you know, right now is just, um, it's just a time where like we have to lean on Jesus. And if you are struggling from depression or anxiety, which I've never struggled with depression. Um, the only time I ever had anything close to that was when I had my son and I had what they call the baby blues, which is different than postpartum. Um, the baby blues is when your hormones are coming back down and everything's just all out of whack. And, um, <clears throat> so I suffered from the baby blues for about a week, but I've heard that postpartum, um, depression and depression in general feels like that. And I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. 
but I do completely understand anxiety and I just want you to know that if you're going through that you're not alone um, and I think all of us are just trying to find like our own ways to deal with it and like yes we are supposed to cast our anxieties on the Lord because that's what he tells us to do and there's been multiple times where the Lord has like shown up in my life and I know that he's always with me and um, there's an so many times where like he has just done that for me and take taken my anxiety away and um, taken the heart palpitations away but we still do deal with our flesh and um, the flesh is weak and sometimes you know I've just realized that anxiety is just like a daily struggle it really is and sometimes you may not know that you are under stress or you may not know that you have anxiety or you may not um, you may not be able to tell that things are really bothering you. And then sometimes, um, you know, so like you'll go all this time and then one day you just start to like feel panicky or you'll go into an anxiety attack. And it's all of those moments that have built up and is physically just coming out. And so, um, in these times guys, like just remember to lean on the Lord and be kind to one another and um, be gracious, like show grace to others because you just don't know what people are dealing with. And with the way that the world is right now and everything that we're going through, even though it's easy to say um, to lean on the Lord, trust in the Lord, have faith in the Lord, um, that is always still a constant battle for people like me and everyone else. And so I just, I want you guys to just, um, Ask the Lord to help you rest in him. Ask him to help you have faith. Um, ask him to help you trust in him. Um, ask him to help you cast your anxieties on him. And um, try not to judge others um, when they are trying to deal with their anxiety, how they see fit. Um, everybody's just trying to make it day by day and just be kind to one another. Um, so yeah, I just, uh, I wanted to just chat with you guys. It is crazy how I'm looking at the time stamp on this video rolling right now. I'm at 17 minutes and I don't feel like I talked about a thing. <laughs> I really don't. That's crazy. I mean, I could sit here and talk for hours. I used to, I used to wonder, I'm like, how in the world do pastors get up there and come up with stuff to talk about for 30, 45 minutes? but I get it now. It's very easy. <laughs> so anyways, I love you guys. I just wanted to come on here, um, and chat with you guys, um, tell you guys about, um, our sister who was adding to the giveaway, um, and that I was attending this event. And if you guys, um, are in Florida, you, um, and you feel led to go, um, I will be there. It will be very awesome to run into some of you guys. And if you're suffering from anxiety today, know that the Lord loves you and he's with you and he has you in the palm of his hand and you are under his wing and you're not the only one. You are not alone. I suffer from it as well. And, um, you know, I don't mind to be vulnerable about that and admit that nobody's perfect. Like I'm not perfect. I deal with struggles and, um, and so, yeah, I love you. And, um, my, um, I just like, I understand what you're going through and we're going to get through this together. So anyways, I love you all so much. Jesus is coming. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, with that, I will talk to y'all soon. See you.